Good afternoon. This is this week's Thursday's Thought. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am Melissa Hunter, a volunteer here at Set Free. This week is such a blessing. God has been speaking this in my spirit, and I just thank him for that the reset back to glory is taking off. Let me tell you, God is talking. This week's topic is there is a shifting in these seasons. God is doing something in the heavenly realm. And what I'm noticing is he's speaking to us on what he's doing. He got us. I don't care what you're going through, what you're facing, what the circumstance is. There is a purpose to the open door God is getting ready to do. And you notice I said the open door because whatever he has closed, he closed for a reason. He's pulling you into a new destiny and he's pulling you into a new purpose. The scripture I'll be coming from is Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. For everything, there is a season and a time for every purpose under heaven. Right now, the enemy has us focusing on circumstances, emotions, things we're going through. But actually, what he's producing is your faith flex. It's time right now for you to produce that faith muscle. That thing's got to be big. We're living in a time where the enemy wants us to focus more on mess more than the message. Why not should we go through? Aren't we the, the didn't God say that we would go through and face trials and tribulations? We ain't always going to be running through a lily field. I'm excited this morning, so I'm just running this thing over. But God said that we were going to face things. And in this season, we got to trust him. We got to hear him and we got to see him. Seasons. Seasons. Without seasons in our life, there would be no opportunity for new life. Life is a continual a continual recircling of itself. And, you know, God spoke to my spirit. You know, most of us, we've grown up with the nanas and we grew up with the strong women and men of God that we have looked at and we have saw their faith. And we're looking and saying, you know what, God? I miss those. I miss uh, the grandmamas, the big mamas that we had. And God is saying, you know what? Now you the big mama. Now you the big daddy. Now the mantle I'm placing on you. And what you have to ask yourself, what are my children? What is the next generation seeing? Are they seeing me uphold character in the midst of different situations? Are they seeing me in my different seasons that I'm still believing God in the winter as well as in the summer? Are they seeing me believe God, even though this folk over here is acting up? This right here didn't go exactly the way. Are they seeing me trust God in order For the next generation to have this Pentecostal fire in order for the next generation to have this faith. They're looking at your walk. They're looking at my walk. And that right there, you have to ask yourself daily, God, what is my children seeing? So I began to go through the word of God and the Lord bless me with something. I began to look at the definition, definition of season and where I was just looking at. At first, the the time change, the nature change, fall, winter, spring, summer. God took me to a whole nother. um, He took me to a whole nother place. He took me to wood. And what happens with wood uh, for you to get it ready to be used? Listen to that for it to get ready to be used. And there were four aspects that really stood out to me. It says that wood has to be matured. Wood has to be aged. You can mellow out wood. You have to look at the condition of the wood. The wood has to be acclimatized and the wood has to be tempered. What? That almost sounds like what he does with us. He takes us through and in your season, you're being seasoned. You're being seasoned. You're being matured. You're being aged. You're being mellowed. You're being conditioned. You're being acclimatized and tempered. And tempered was one that really stood out to me because it says your behavior or psychology, psychology, how you go through it. Behavior is very important because you can't claim to be one thing and then your actions show another In this year, I said that seasons are being shifted. Shifting means 
a slight change in position, direction, or tendency. Direction. See, in this season, God is closing doors, but he is opening doors. And let me tell you something here at Set Free, he is speaking. I went back and I'm going to end this Thursday thought with this. I went back over and, you know, I told you, you know, in previous recordings that I, um, I go back at home and try to dig deeper in because sometimes you're at church, you get the notes, but you really want to get the revelation. You know, you get it there, too. And I went back through Pastor Steve's, Pastor Caleb and Pastor Landon's sermons. I went back over the names uh, of their sermons and what they were speaking. And I'm going to tell you something. These men of God have the, all have their own office. They not sitting around in a group saying, what are you preaching about? What do you preach? These men of God are in separate different offices seeking God. And listen to how God spoke last Sunday. We got after this. Number two, we got the open door. The Sunday for that, the door to destiny. The next one, was diving, driving determination. The next one was pain points. The next one was keep this man. Take your seat. A white rock. What is your availability? One sound. What are you going to do with this Jesus? Listen to what God is saying. He has not closed the door. He's saying, I got you. He's speaking to you. He says, if you are available, I got you. He's saying, what you going to do with me? He's saying, I got you. He's saying, after this, I got you. So on this Thursday thought, hear what the spirit is saying and know that God has this. The open door, the door to destiny, divine determination. Pain points. Whew. God is speaking through his men of God. Listen, have a blessed Thursday and know the seasons are shifting. For those that have an ear, let him hear. Let him hear. Thank you. Have a blessed Thursday.